Let me get a little chat back if you can hear me loud and clear. This is Fausto. Just want to see if everybody uh, is able to hear loud and clear. All right. Good to see you, Thomas. Good to see you, Bonnie, Michael. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just share my screen. Hopefully everybody can see me okay. Everybody's fine. Perfect. All right. Good. Good. Hi everyone, well welcome. My name is Fausto Baglisi. Uh, basically, what you just watched is a quick little video of some of our students, a couple of testimonials, a couple of traders challenges that I did in the past, and uh, just kind of let you know that everybody wants to trade, but honestly, it's really not for everybody, and that's okay. But you know what, by being here today, we'll kind of let you know if this is something you should move forward, uh, which I personally think you should all do it, but you got to see if it's a right fit and if it's right for you. Because, you know, at the end of the day, 90% of traders lose money. They fail. And you know why they fail? Because they never got educated, never had the right mentor, never took the time to learn it the right way. You know, and that's what you're doing today. Today is more personally, it's an interview. It's an interview for you to be here to ask and have all your questions answered because at the end of this presentation, let me tell you what my goal is. My goal is I can't teach you in an hour. I could teach you enough to be dangerous, but at the end of this presentation, I'm gonna invite all of you to come into the original trading room that I started 25 years ago to see people that we've trained and see if they're actually making money doing that. But before we do that, I wanna teach you the art of trading and see what it's all about and make you see that some of you making it more complicated than what it is. Now, what we're gonna learn is we're gonna talk about the psychology about trading. We're gonna talk about how to analyze something called level one, level two, and level three. I'm gonna show you why traders fail. I'm also gonna talk about time and sales, everything that you see that, you know, that, that, that will help you become very successful in trading. Now, if you look over there on the right-hand side, you see a little Forbes article. It says a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. Actually, I was one of those kids. Uh, if you ever read any of the old books, I'm actually one of the original day traders that started. They used to call us Soze Bandits back then. The reason why they called us Soze Bandits, we had a, I'm not here to teach you the history of it, but we used a, a vehicle we used to trade by NASDAQ, and they called us Bandits because we were thieves. At the end of the day, market makers were very, very jealous and didn't like the idea that we had access to their private club. But you know what? I'm here to pass that knowledge over to you because you know you want to do this. You know that you can. Uh, you want to trade. You're sick and tired of giving it to somebody else. You you know you don't want someone else trade your money for it. You know, granted the market is doing great. Listen, everyone's doing great. Okay, but what is 10, 20 percent when you can make 10, 20 percent a day? Right. That's what it's all about. Why are you making somebody else rich? Keep that money in your pocket. Now, just a little brief description about Cybertrain University. I want to bore you about this, but um, I was actually, I live here in New York. I was trained by the best traders in the world, and um, I started out as a prop trader, meaning I used to trade for someone else's money. Back then, that was the only way you could have access to do what you have access today. Now, before I was a successful trader, I was a very successful loser. What I mean by that is I blew up two accounts. You've probably all been there, okay? And let me tell you why that is. Ignorance, what else? And being cheap. Think about a 22-year-old going out there and paying money and getting a job as a trader. But let me tell you what I learned here in New York. This is the financial capital of the world. I've seen people make so much money here driving very expensive cars, young kids. I'm like, what the hell are they doing that I'm not doing? And you know what it was? They had a job. They worked for somebody. They worked for people that taught them, hey, it's not about learning how to make money. It's learning how to stop losing it. And that's what my main goal here at Cybertrain University is. I'm here to teach you how to stop losing it. Now, just tell you very briefly, um, I was semi-retired at the age of 24, and, but I, I wasn't happy. What the hell is a 24-year-old kid going to do? So I wanted to build on it. And when I left my brokerage firm, they told me, the only reason why I left is I didn't want to split the profits. Like anything else, right? Everybody likes to start their own business. We're all entrepreneurs. But they told me, says, Fausto, for you to be successful at it, unless you're going to spend all this money and have a brokerage, a brokerage firm and you're going to lose all this camaraderie, unless you're going to teach people how to do it, you're not going to be very successful at it. And I did learn that. That's why I'm here today. So I'm here to teach you guys how you're supposed to trade and how to be part of a team like Cyber Trading University. So that is the, really the main reason why I teach. 
I'm only as good as the people I train. Now, I can't talk for everybody else. People always ask and say, oh, Fausto, why, why did so many schools out there, and why are they all trying to make money off you on education? You know what? I can't talk on their behalf. Listen, I know there's some really sneeze, sleazy people out there in this world, uh, unfortunately, like in any business, but please don't use that uh, on me and look at me that way. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have some of the biggest brokerage firms endorsing me. You know, companies like, you know, uh, uh, Tastyworks, Metastock, Charles Schwab, Thinkorswim, you know, uh, TradeStation. These are all brokerage firms that I've been doing for the past 25 years that you see me out there. Now, the reason why I teach, just to kind of give you really briefly, is that this is my lovely family. Uh, my, my wife, Debbie, I like to share, Alex, Max, and Lucas. And uh, the reason why I love trading is because my, my dad was an immigrant. He came here, uh, my parents came over here from Italy. I'm first generation and, you know, they came here with $20 in their pocket. And when I mean $20, I mean really didn't have anything. They came here for the American dream. And my dad worked very, very hard. By the way, my dad just passed away two weeks ago, you know, just kind of, just kind of, uh, you know, wish him the best, but he was a very, very big inspiration to me because he taught me, he said, listen, I worked very, very hard. Uh, I want you to, to have the freedom to spend more time with your family. So I'm going to work very hard for you have a better future here in America. And, uh, and, and you know what I did, I did, I learned, went to good schools and uh, I learned that, you know what, it takes time to be very successful. And it's also, you want to do something that is going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. So why do you want to trade? Thank you very much. I appreciate that, uh, Jackson and Bonnie. Um, so why do you want to trade? Okay. Listen, you're here to make money. Okay. I don't want to hear anything else. Oh, I want to find out about this company. I want to know why this is going. Listen, stop it. Okay. You're here for one reason and one reason only. You got bills to pay. Some of you are semi-retired, maybe looking for sick and tired working for somebody. Maybe you got, I hear it all day long. You know, some of you are getting pushed out by younger, you know, the younger generation because you, you make too much money, whatever it is, yada, yada, yada. Listen, there's a great job. There's no other job out there that I, that I personally believe, which is legal, <laughs> that you can make this much money working an hour a day. You just have to learn how to play the game the right way. And the way you do it, you got to learn before you could earn. So when it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into the fun part now. How do we, uh, Grant, thank you very much. Grant is just saying, you uh, know, is the real deal. <laughs> thank you very much, Grant. So how do we do that? We follow the money. That's it. End the conversation. Okay. If you're one of those people think you're smarter than somebody else, if you think, if you're somebody that is looking for a crystal ball, Please log out. I'm not the right guy for you. Here at Cybertrain University, we don't recommend stocks. We tell you what's moving. We look what's moving. We help you scan the market. But first of all, telling you what to buy and sell is illegal. If anybody does that, um, it's just going matter, to matter of time where they're going to get, you know, they're going to be shut down. Um, may I say better trades? <laughs> may I say optionetics, whatever it is? Uh, so there's a lot of thinkers, uh, you know, invest tools, look them up and you'll see, you can't do that. So that's why I've been in business for 25 years. So if you're looking for that person, I'm not the right fit for you. Okay. I'm not here to brag about my Ferrari. I'm not here to brag about the expensive house that I have. I'm here to teach you guys how to live a very comfortable, successful life in trading. And the way you do that is not by some crystal ball, some typical indicator. It's all about following the money. Now, my question to you, I'm going to do a quick poll question because you know what? I'm here talking away and I'm probably getting a little uh, uh, out, of, out of hand here, but I'm going to do a quick poll. Hold on. Where's my poll thing? Uh, I'll make a little uh, – trying to find my polls. Where's my polls? Okay. So my question to you is this, guys. Uh, oh, here's my animation. That's what I was looking for. I need my little, so you guys can follow along with me. There we go. All right. So my question to you guys is that, does anyone here have level three quotes? Anybody here have level three? 
just give me a chat back. Yes, no. All right. No, no, no. A couple of you have said yes, because I know some of your students here. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, so no, but I just uh, got book map today. Okay, Michael. All right. Does anyone else have level three? That's basically what we're asking. All right, so let me tell you what level three, level one, two, and three is, and then we're going to go into the detail about it. First of all, how do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand, okay? Buying and selling. Those are the two things you got to know, okay? So how do we get that? that data? How do we get those quotes? Well, most of you are probably looking at level one, which is like if you look up on your phone or you look on the, the ticker on the TV or something, that's over here on the left. So if you're looking at a quote, you know exactly where the stock is trading at. Oh, the bid, the offer, you know, that's what people are buying it. That's what people are selling it. Great. How does that tell you stocks going up and going down? It doesn't. Then back in the 90s, there's something called level two. This was big in the 90s, but it's now obsolete after 2000. Nobody uses level two anymore. It's basically worthless, okay? Basically, what it is is just tells you the brokerage firm, um, who's buying it, who's selling it, which is really important. The problem is it doesn't show you all the orders. It just shows you, you know, like, for example, I might be a buyer of AMD at $40.40 .40 for 100 shares, but I'm really a 10,000 share buyer at $40.40. Uh, 29 cents. You're not going to see that level two. So you're not seeing all the orders. Now there's this thing called level three uh, where you get to see all the orders. Remember, it's all about following the money. That's it. Just please keep that in the back of your mind. Because here at CyberTrade University, what I'm looking to teach you guys what to do is we're here to scan the market together. By the way, there's no software out there that does that for you. Um, we're there to scan the market and we're looking for big orders because guess what? What makes support and resistance levels on a chart? Buyers and sellers. Problem is, it's not about predicting what happened in the past. I'm going to teach you how to predict the future. So how do we do that? With level three. So here you have a level three chart. And if you look right here, here's your buyers on the left and here's your sellers. And then you have three columns. Okay, you got the price, the amount of shares that are looking to be bought at that price, and then also how many orders are out there. It could be one order, it could be seven orders. I mean, it could be seven different people, it could be one person. That's why you're getting like seven, three, five, whatever. Now, the way it works is this. Whoever wants to buy for the, the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell their shares for the least amount of money is here on the top levels, and then obviously, you can see the number drops as you go down. Uh, also, uh, don't see OTC orders on my brokerage account. Well, DF, I mean, listen, I don't trade over the counter because that's one of the reasons why. You can't see orders. I only trade NASDAQ national stocks. Remember, why are you trading OTCs? Why are you trading bulletin board? Why are you trading penny stocks? Because of the volatility? You know what? We got great volatility just trading Uber today. But at least you could see the orders. You can't see that when, you tra when you're trading those. Remember, your goal. DF is you're here to risk the least amount of money with the high amount of reward. At the end of the day, if your goal is to make, I don't know, $100,000 a year, do you, you want to risk, you know, a million to make a hundred or would you like to risk a hundred to make a hundred? That's really what it comes down to. All right. Now let's put this all together. Does everyone here know how to read a chart? Everybody here know how to read a chart? Just give me a chat back. Yes, yeah, somewhat Michael's saying, okay. You know what, there's a lot of people I haven't answered. Um, Annie, what about you? Carlton, friend, I don't know, my two friends in here. <laughs> Joan, Mark, Ron, what about you guys? Stuart, you guys know how to read a chart? Listen, don't be embarrassed because part of one of the qualifications to be a student at CyberTrade University is you have to communicate. If you can't communicate, I'm telling you, you're not gonna be a good trader. You know, this is, this is us talking back and forth. Trading is a team effort. It's not about, here's Fausto and pounding my chest and I made, you know, three, $4,000 on a trade. It's not how it works. 
Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. All right. All right, good. Looks like everyone's alive. All right, so let's look at this example. Let's get into the exciting part of it. You ready to fall off your chair? You ready to realize how blind you've been trading this whole time? This is what sold me. Stock is at 27.20, right? You see how the stock goes all the way down and it stops right here around 26, between 26.60 and 26.40. See that right there? And then it goes back up and it hits there 2640 and it like really has a tough time going below this 2650. Now, why would a stock have a problem going below 2650? Can anybody answer that question? What do you think? Why did the stock have a tough time breaking it? It's a question to all of you. Must have been in demand, right? Right, Greg? Buyers are out there. Okay, exactly. Listen, very simple. Remember, two, two words you need to know about trading, buying and selling. Okay, supply and demand. So there must have been some type of buyers out there, which makes a demand. Well, when you look over here on the left-hand side and we look at the level three quotes, you notice that there was a 100 share buyer at 2650. Big deal. That's probably, you know, some of you out there. Maybe some of you could spend a little bit more money, maybe trade 500. But when you work your way right down here, right around the 2650, which is right around this price, there's a 34,000 share buyer out there. Now, if you do the math, that's not, you know, a couple of hundred bucks, okay? What are you talking about right there? You're talking about, oh, almost over a million dollars worth of stock, okay? I don't think any of you guys are trading million dollar shares uh, uh, putting into an idea. Somebody is. So when you're looking at a chart and you're like, oh, how does a stock know how to make a support level? Very simple, buyers. Now, this is the question to ask you. How many of you guys out there trading and seeing these big block orders out there, 35,000 shares at these support and resistance levels? Any of you guys seeing that right now? Anybody of you guys monitoring these orders? One person. Stuart's got, well, that's funny. Everybody that says no is fine. A big, big N-O. Okay. Listen, we just got started. We just got started. Okay. Now, here's another stock. Watt, W-A-T-T. -W so here you have a stock that went from 670 all the way up to a price of 750. All right. Comes back down. Goes back to 750, comes back down to 690. Why did the stock have such a tough time breaking 750? Okay. Well, what makes a resistance level on a chart is sellers. A chart doesn't show you where the sellers are. The future does. What is the future? The level three. And if you look right here, there's a 271,000 share seller at 750. Right here in the middle, these are chats by my, my traders, my students, including myself and instructors. And look, Fran made 25 cents, Ken made 31 cents, 20 cents, 40 cents. You know, just multiply that by a thousand shares, 250, 310, 420. Do that every day, guys. Today's your six-figure salary. Is everybody following along? Did I lose anybody? Robert, did I lose you? I didn't see you answer back. Everybody following along? Jeff, Donald, Derek? Everybody following along? Good, all right. So now let's have a little fun, okay? Let's look at this chart right here. I need all of you guys to answer this question. What, what do you think this stock in theory is going to do? Is it gonna go up or go down? Let's see how you answer this. If I'm a, if I'm not a day trader, but uh, trade over multiple days, weeks, what do I do? Well, John, I'm going to get to that question, but I'm telling you right now, John, regarding about your question, you want to be a good swing. That's basically swing trade. Anything overnight is a swing trade. Okay. You want to be a good swing trader. You damn well better learn how to day trade first. Cause if you don't, you're going to blow up your account. It's the movement. What happens over the course of the day, which will give you a sense of direction 
how to do a swing trade. Okay. Um, Jeff says, I can't tell. Jeff, what do you mean you can't tell? What do you mean you can't? What do you need? What more do you need for the stock to tell you what the direction is? Is it making a higher high? Is it making a lower low? Is it a low of the day? Is it a high? It, it, the, 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 all I'm asking, what is the trend? Okay. If you said it was going down, congratulations. You're absolutely right. Okay. What more do you have to ask? Now, this is the issue, and this is what we teach you at Cybertrain University. Let's just say, hypothetically, you had the stock at 27. It's at 2640. And you're like, oh my God, I'm losing all this money. What do I do? Where do I get out? My thing is this. How do you, where, what's going to help this stock to go back up? What do you need? What do you do to know when to get in and when to get out? You need buyers, right? Wow, look at that. Roy just said it. One word, not even like, a mis you don't need a Fibonacci, you don't need a MACD, you don't need to check with Kramer or call your financial advisor. You need buyers, right? Forget about all that other junk. You need buyers. Do you, how are you going to find the buyers? How are you going to find where the buyers are in the stock? Oh, look at that. Pamela says we got to check level three. All right, let's go check it out. So what happens when you have a 58,000 share buyer at 26. And not only is there 58,000 shares, there are 90 different orders out there. Not one, not 10, 90. That means there's 90 different people all over the world right now have an order in Uber at 26. Swan Money says uh, to get out? I don't know what you mean by that. My thing is this, what is going to prevent, you have to understand something, everyone. What did I tell you earlier? Our job is not to teach you how to make money. Our job is to teach you how to stop losing it, right? Otherwise, if everybody's making money, what do you need to learn, right? So when well, you go to the doctor, when you're sick, you know, you do your yearly physical, but overall, you really want to stop the bleeding. So if you had a stock right here and you're like, my God, what do I do? Stock's going down. Is it going to zero? What do you need? You need buyers. You need buyers. So what do you have right here? Boom. Big buyer out there. So what do you think should happen at that price? Exactly what the stock end up doing. Stock hit a support level right here. Hit 26. Boom, it went to 27. Okay? Without no Fibonacci, without no, no MACD, without no moving average, without no crystal ball, you know, whatever you want to, you know, uh, heat seek or whatever. There's your buyer. And at 26, and not even within a minute, it was hovering there for 20 minutes, the guy was out there. And what did the stock end up doing? Now it went from 26 to 27.40. By the way, did you need indicator to tell you that? Guys, did you need an indicator to tell you that? Did you need someone to tell you that that was support levels or you just figured it out on your own? You see, when I, when, when I first got into this business, I'm, I'm sitting there looking for my mentor and I'm like, nah, that can't be that easy. That, that's not, you know, by the way, how is that a real, is that a real order? That's another thing. Is that real? You want to know how real it is? Why don't you go execute them, see how damn real it is, and you let me know, okay? You're damn right it's real, okay? So the thing is, there's no real science to trading other than trading is no different than, you know, buying and selling snowflakes, you know, to Alaska or buying cars. It's all about supply and demand. Food, everything's got supply and demand. How do you follow supply and demand? You look at the orders. You just kind of want to play the game. Most people don't take the time to learn how to play the game. They always look for somebody else to tell them how it works. And what I'm looking for, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking to teach people like you to go out there so we could find these orders because there's no platform out there that does that for you, okay? But if we all work together and we all trade, we all do great. Um, Don says, where you find these orders? Don, just like I said before I even started, do you have level three quotes, okay? And 99% of you don't. And you know why you don't have it, Donald? You want to know why? Exactly why 99% of the people lose money today. 99% of the people, well, they don't all lose money, but 99% of them are self-taught. 
okay? Don, do you ever work for a trading firm? Roy, you ever work for a trading firm? Patrick, Tom, Roy? No, and you know what? That's okay. Wouldn't it be nice to learn from someone that did? Okay, so, so that's basically you know what, what, what my goal is, what I'm trying to explain to you. Listen, you want to learn how to dig for oil? You go to Texas, go to California. You want to be a movie star? You go to Los Angeles. You want to learn about the stock market? You got to learn people that worked in the floor of the exchange in New York Stock Exchange in New York like me. That's where it comes down to it, right? And let me tell you, it's really not that hard. Now, let me tell you why a lot of people don't have this data. 25 years ago, when I was introduced this, now this is 25 years ago, I'm like, I'm in, I'm sold. I'm sold, I want, I want in, I want in, I want it. This looks too damn easy, I could figure it out. You know, you don't gotta be a rocket scientist. You know what my, you know what my boss told me? He says, great, by the way, this, costs a th this data costs $1,000 a month. Now, I can almost promise you this. A lot of you here are probably gonna fall off your chair at the end of this webinar. And if I said, I want $1,000 a month for you to get this data, I know for a fact, 99% of you are not gonna move forward with Cybertrain University. Even though you like sold on it, you might kinda do it, okay? But guess what? It's not $1,000 any month. How about this? It's gonna cost you $9, all right? And you know what? Even half the people here might even spend $9. They're like, yeah, but you know what? I can get free trades. My brokerage firm gives me free software. Listen, if you're somebody that's looking for free tickets, free software, you're in the wrong place, okay? Um, if anyone could tell me if there is such thing of free lunches out there without a catch, I want to hear it. There's no such thing, all right? You want good quality trades, you want good software, you want to trade right, you want great education, you're going to have to pay. Because guess what? We here right now, I want to, I'm going to teach you how to trade against the free people who want the free stuff, all right? Those are the people who are going to lose all their money. I hate to say it, and I'm just being very honest with you. I'd rather, you be, I'd rather be straightforward with everyone here than you do it right or you don't do it at all, okay? So let's move on. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's look at this trade right here. Now that we bought Uber, okay, we bought Uber, where, the other goal is this. Okay, where do we sell it, right? Where's the resistance levels? So could you guys tell me where the resistance level is? Where would you think without using an indicator, without using a chart, without using you know, all these crazy tools that these brokerage firms are trying to you know, convince you you need, where do you think resistance levels would be in this stock right here? If you don't know the answer, just give me a question mark. Just give me a question mark. All right, so you know what? If you said $28, congratulations, you're absolutely right. Without looking at anything, just think about it. I'm not gonna buy 20, I'm not gonna buy 60,000, 57,000 shares of 28. I mean, you're talking about a lot of money right there. Somebody's out there doing it, right? So in theory, if I bought it at 26 and I sold it at 28, Two dollars, thousand shares, two thousand dollars I made on that stock on the day, half a million dollars. Who doesn't want that job? Okay, talking about drinking the Kool Aid because I sure did when they told me that. Well, guess what? What does this stock look like it's doing? What does it look like it's doing? Look at all the time in sales. Green, 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 green. Look at all the stocks going. Look at this. What do you think the stock's doing, everybody? It's going up, right? Every, but wait a minute. Didn't we say the resistance was 28? But, when, but most people are not looking at that. They're looking at this. They're like, wow, look at that stock. The trend's going up. It's breaking higher highs. Look at all those transactions. I mean, this thing is just on a tear. Yeah, okay, great. How many of you have level three again? How many? Not that many, right? 
guess what? If you didn't know that that was, if you didn't see that order out there at 28, look where it ended up. It went right back down to 2740. Huh? Let me know how that works out for you. How many of you guys sat down like, I don't understand. It looked like it was going up. Everything, it was like a perfect storm. I'm like, the stock's going back to 40. They're talking about on TV. I just got a, a news report. I subscribed to this guy. You know, they're big fans. Okay, no problem. Did you subscribe and see where the orders are? No. And you know, Tom, Tom says not me. You know what, Tom, that's okay. All right, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Because now you finally could say, I finally met somebody that kind of now makes sense to me. You all knew this stuff existed. You all knew this stuff is real. You knew this stuff that, that there was how stocks are driven by supply and demand. You know how you didn't weren't able to get that data? Because you didn't find the person to teach you yet. And that's why I'm so happy you guys are here. By the way, I am going to show you all this stuff live because I do practice what I preach in my trading room. You're all going to get access to this. Wouldn't it be nice to see this for see this live and see if this does really work for nine dollars for nine stinking lousy dollars? Anybody have nine dollars to spend? Anybody have nine dollars to spend? Nine dollars. Does that sound like a lot? Nine bucks? Why are we doing it for nine dollars? I'm going to tell you later. Okay, I'm going to tell you later. But if you can't spend nine dollars on this data and you're looking for a nice six-figure salary, trust me, you shouldn't be trading at all. So what do we do here? You could swing $9, John goes. <laughs> That's good to hear. So anyway, um, let me tell you basically what we call these. I call them iceberg orders. Um, I came up with this word about 20 years ago um, because of the movie, The Titanic. Really briefly, we all know what happened to Titanic. Great movie. I cried. I hope probably you did too. Uh, most unsinkable ship. And why did the ship sink? Because the guy was looking on top. They didn't realize what was on the bottom of the water. And that's why people sink when it comes to trading. They think they have all the good looking tools, the good looking ship, the good looking platforms, the six monitors, not realizing they didn't spend the right money on the right tools. And that's why most of them blow up their accounts. But you know where they don't blow up their money? They want all these crazy indicators. You know what the problem with indicators are? They're always right. You know who invented these indicators? Mathematicians. Now, listen, I'm not going to knock them because I have some good friends of mine that would get a little upset with me. It does work for swing trading, long-term trading. It does not, and I will repeat, it does not work for day trading because us day traders, we only work an hour a day. We, we just trade the first, most of our trades we do in pre-market, basically. That's really what we do, you know? But um, that's basically what we look at. But anyone ever heard of level four? Now here's another thing. We're talking about level three. Anybody heard about level four? Okay, well, here you are like, wait a minute, there's a level four? You're damn right there is. And level four is where not only we're gonna see the orders, but I'm going to show you how long they've been out there for. Okay, like uh, right now, here's a stock. I just want to bring this over to you. And if you look right here, we're looking at Uber. And Uber, we've been trading it. And just look what happened to Uber right here. It went all the way from this morning, from 28.50, all the way up to about 29.50, came back down, went back up. It bounced at 29, 29.50. And if you notice these red lines, 31,000 share guy is supporting it. He's been out there since 10 o'clock. And then this guy's been out there since 9.30 at 29.50. Look at all these red lines out there. That's called level four. Listen, you want to make money, guys? Do it right. Trading is a great job. You just got to learn how to keep it super simple. It's called the KISS method. That's what we preach, okay? All for a lousy $9 to tell you and prove to you that as much as there's so many haters out there and people are like, oh, you're going to lose all your money, don't even trade. I always tell people, I'm like, really? Who trained you? Who really trained you? Oh, you know, what, what, does, that, what does that have to do with it? it? has a lot to do with it. 
did your did your child learn how to drive a car on his own? You just gave him the keys of here, kid. Yeah, go drive a car. Yeah, let me know how that works out for you. Okay. Um, and that's right, Donald. A lot of people com uh, complicate things. It, it really does, and it doesn't have to be like that, Don. It doesn't have to. It all starts with just a lousy nine dollars to learn the real truth. At least you can know the real facts of a stock that you're in. You know, do we have any options traders out there? Of course, it, yeah, Fred, of course it does. It works for ETFs and spies. We trade them all the time. I personally would rather trade something less riskier, but why not? You trade a little bit, John. Do you know that you, to be a good options trader, you got, you got to, how do you know what the option's doing if you don't even know what the stock's doing, right? People are like, oh, you know, you know, I like options. Yeah, people like because of leverage. That's not why you're supposed to trade options. You're trading it for, you know, you're trading it. I mean, yes, technically it's for leverage, but sometimes it's cheaper just to trade the stock. You don't have to always jump to the option. It's 10 times harder. By the way, who's richer? The guy that owns the house or the guy that rents the house? You know? So you, you, you figure it out. Listen, every single one of you need to learn from mentors. Now, I'm just telling you that I know we have swing traders here, forex traders, options traders, day traders. I just personally like to day trade because I like to sleep at night. You know, that's really the reason why. I mean, I do, do we do swing trading, but it, I do, we do do some options trading in my trading room, but it's like maybe like five, 10%. You know, it's just, I, I've just learned that, you know what, you can make, we got some stocks that were up two, 300 a day. Um, I don't know, did you guys see like, uh, we had a really nice one the other day. Did anybody see the, uh, the KRTX trade? Let me just put that in the trading room. Anybody see that one? Let me bring this up here. People are like, what the hell is that? You know what that, you know what this is? Look at this. Stock goes from $20 all the way to $150 in uh, one, two days. When's the last time you guys have ever seen a stock go from 30 to 150? Anyone ever, any, anyone ever been in that? It's like a unicorn. I heard about it. I've never seen one. Okay. Guess what? We do it every almost, we do it probably once a week. Never. Guess what? Would you like to see it? You're going to get the opportunity to. So, but the thing is this. It's not about making those big, big moves, okay? It's all about just making a day's pay. How many of you, like I said, are retired? How many of you are in Social Security? How many of you would like to just take care of your kids? How many of you are getting pushed out of your job because, like I said, younger generation, they, they want to you know, cheap corporate America. How many of you are IT professionals, engineers? You know, we, we have, I, I train so many great people in this world, and I love it. You meet such great people. Um, but we just want to learn how to, you semi retire Tom. Guess what? 80% of the traders in our room, 90% of them are between the age of 55 and 90. You know what I mean? They're just like you, Tom. But you don't got to make a lot of money and make a very nice, successful career. You don't need a stock to go up 20, 30, 40 points. You need 50 lousy, stinking cents. That's all you need. Just to live. Look at this stock. In one hour, 50 cents. How could you go wrong? And then you could spend more time with your family and do the things you always want to enjoy in life. But you got to learn before you can earn. And it all starts with $9. So this is what we're going to do. I want to invite all of you guys to come into my trading room, the original trading room that I started. And I want you not to judge us on the winners, okay? Because the winners are a joke, all right? It's the losers you guys got to focus on. Because, you, know, you know what's so funny? I get so annoyed. You always get people bragging how much money they make. Nobody likes to talk about the losers. Well, guess what? You judge us on the losers, and you'll see that we really don't have that many of them. But most importantly, how we get out of them. If things don't go our way, I'll teach you something called the 32nd rule. You know, the three shakes, the three, uh, three strikes are out rule. You know, nothing crazy. But we start trading at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're usually done at 1030. That's it. Live audio commentary, and you're going to get everything, guys. You're going to get uh, live trading. You're going to get uh, a watch list. You I mean, this is all live, all live. So, and, and then you'll see why Cybertrain University has a five 
star rating on Google, which is very, very rare. And you'll see why Cyber Training University has been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. By the way, that alone should make you feel confident that you got a real somebody good on your team. Because you know what? Brokerage firms have a lot to lose. And, and by the way, if there's any of you ever do business with anyone, you better make sure that they're dealing with some of the big brand name brokerage firms because they want you guys to be educated. Technically, they just can't, they're not allowed to do it, but they do background checks on us, credit checks, everything. You think they would endorse us if they thought we were teaching people how to lose money? So I just want you to just remember that. So this is what I'm offering everybody. $9, one week in my trading room, money back guaranteed. Listen, I don't need the nine dollars, okay? Let me tell you why I'm doing this. I'm doing it for nine dollars because I want to train people how to trade, so we have more eyes and ears in the trading room. Now, listen, a lot of you guys might not qualify, okay? After you're in the trading room, because you'll realize it maybe just not, you know, it's not for you, and that's okay. And I'll give you nine dollars back. But I'm looking for people that want to be, you know, looking for this kind of type of a job, this type of a business, so I could train them, so we can make money together. And you're gonna get, this is what you're gonna get for $9, by the way. You're gonna get access to the cyber group trading room, three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list, your own personal education advisor, a live Q&A training session. Could you imagine you actually calling someone and answering the phone? You know, people are like, really? People don't even have their phone numbers on their screen. Are there emails? No, you're going to get all this for $9, okay? And as a bonus, as a bonus right now, you register right now, you will get a personal coaching class with me. Now, once again, you're falling off your chair like, why would Fausto waste his time with me? You know, what the hell do I have to offer? I'll tell you what you have to offer because I'm going to interview you. And once you go through the trading room, we're going to see, you know, do you want to do this or not? You know what I mean? And because I have to make a big investment in you to train you because at the end of the day, I'm not looking to make $9. I'm looking to make thousands of dollars with you because we're going to trade together. You're going to learn how to get good content, everything, but it all starts here. So listen, click on the link right now on the screen, $9. You got nothing to lose. See, let me show you how to read level two, level three, level four. Let me show you how to find these stocks, how to trade in pre-market, just basically how to follow the money, doing the dream you always wanted to do. All right. Now, um, just a couple of shout outs. Uh, got a couple of people that just registered right now. I came across. Uh, Rebel from, uh, where is that, from uh, Colorado, just got your registration. Look forward to talking to you. Uh, what we got here, we got uh, Mike from New York at your registration. Um, don't have the link, should I call you the number? Uh, the link should be right there, but let me put the link up there again, ctu.co. It's right on our homepage right there. Here's the link right here again. Everybody got that link? There you go. The other link probably is not working. No, it's actually working. It's actually working right there. All right. Uh, by the way, any questions in the meantime, guys? Any questions? Well, it looks like some of you probably clicking on the registration. Listen, you got $9, all right? Think about this for a second. Remember I told you when I started it was $1,000 to get this data? Now think about how many of you guys right now are jumping over hoops to, to spend $1,000 right now to just find out level three quotes. Well, it's not $1,000. Now it's $9, okay? And not only that, but you're going to get to talk to somebody. You're going to see it live in the market for a whole week. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good stuff that's coming along with that. Why go out there and, you know, Try to like, oh, let me go try it and go figure it out. You're wasting your time. Uh, Stuart, do we do futures? No, but Stuart, um, if you want to learn futures, you can always send me an email, and I'll be happy to recommend two or three people to you. Listen, there's not too many good traders out there that, that know futures. So you got to be careful you don't get scammed by somebody else because um, some of them don't really know what they're doing. Uh, Carrie from uh, – Canada, I mean from, no, I'm sorry, Watanuck Creek, California's got your registration. 
okay? Any other questions? By the way, when you fill out that question, uh, fill out that trial subscription for $9, uh, you want to see, oh, here, you're going to learn this what's, uh, in the room. So you're going to, to activate it, you're going to talk to an education advisor. He's going to walk you through your dashboard. Listen, you're going to get a crash course day trading video to watch. You're going to get a couple of videos that's going to tell you some of the lingo that we're doing. And by that, you'll at least know when you get into the room what's going on. You understand? So that's basically a lot we're gonna cover. Uh, I can't start until Thanksgiving and I would like to trade futures. Well, listen, by the way, you don't have to start next week. Uh, this promotion, like I said, lock in the rate now. And when you talk to education advisor, he'll get you ready to start immediately. Personally, I would start like today. You know, I, you know, unless you have to push it off, because let me tell you, we've been killing it these last couple of days. If you've been watching my YouTube channel and my Twitter and stuff, I mean, we literally had some crazy stocks. We're just killing it, killing it. You know, this is actually the best month to trade, go into like the second week of December. Uh, another people I, I want to thank, uh, Jeffrey Smith from Four Myers, Florida, just got your registration. Listen, you're gonna notice that there's a questionnaire that's gonna ask you a couple of questions so we get to know a little bit about you. So when you see that, let us know a little bit about you. It's gonna help us to kind of make sure we put you in the right program so you know what videos to watch. We really, really take the time to give you great customer service, okay? Any other questions? You're more than welcome. Uh, Mark, about the day trading rule, listen, don't worry about that right now, okay? You, are you going to tell me you're going to, you're going to, is that what you're worried about spending $9 than the $25,000 day trading rule? Do yourself a favor. That's the least of your problems right now, and there's ways that, that that's not going to affect you. Why don't you pay $9 first, and then we'll worry about that rule, okay? That, that's really what it comes down to it. That's one of the reasons why people lose money in trading because like, oh, but I can't do that because that's why I trade futures and options. That's, that's a misconception. And how do I know that? Because I, I was part of that whole, you know, that whole thing that ever happened. Uh, a couple other people just registering. Stuart, um, Stuart from St. Thomas. Was that? Uh, must be another country. VIR. I don't know where that is. <laughs> is that Virginia? I mean, uh, the Virgin Islands? I think it's Virgin Islands. All right. What else? Any other questions? Lance from Buffalo, New York, just got your registration. Um, Susan from, is that from Ireland? Okay, welcome. St. Thomas. All right, there we go. All right, thanks. All right. Any other questions, guys? Because I got to get ready to trade the close. So I want to get back with my traders. You know, we got a, we got a couple of nice little, great, nice little volatility in the market that's been going on. Any other last minute questions, everyone? All right, listen, um, before we go, I know some of you probably in the middle of the process of, of registering for $9. Can I just tell you something personally? I want you to understand trading's not for everybody. Okay, and some of you are going to move forward, Cyber Trade University. Some of you are not going to move forward. And listen, I'm not going to get insulted. You know, I'm not going to. That doesn't. Listen, it's your money. It's your nine dollars. It's not mine. Um, and by the way, you don't got to be there for a week. You just be there for one day, and you'll you'll get it. It's a cup of coffee, honestly. But the thing is this: forget about what other people told you. Oh, you can't do that. You're going to lose your money. You, listen, you don't have to spend a lot of money in trading. Sample it. Just try it, and just see what the truth is. And then you know you're very. You, you guys are very, very smart. You could figure it out on your own. Don't believe about the fake news, you know, that's out there. That people try to say, oh, don't do that because they push us away. You know what? You're smart enough to figure it out on your own. Come out there. See why we've been in business for 25 years. See why we've been endorsed by more brokerage firms in the industry. See why I'm one of the original Souls Bandits and a 12-time world champion. And most importantly, see if our students make money doing this. And then you make the judgment and say, you know what? They're right. It's not for me. Okay, and then we'll go from there. But don't lose this opportunity uh, and going out there and doing it and, and not learning it. Just because you're doing something else doesn't mean you could do that. Listen, we had Tom Sosno from Tasty Works yesterday. Um, very good friend of mine, the founder of Thinkorswim. He, he, he even said himself, it's not a one market anymore. Everybody's trading a little bit of everything. You have to. You have to understand what's going on. So go out there and learn it uh, first.
A um, couple more shout outs really quick. Uh, Jerry, I just got your registration from Indianapolis, where the Indianapolis 500 is. All right. Go Colts. Uh, Jeff, is there a survey in the email? I'm not, I'm not on the screen registered to collapse into upper right-hand corner. Well, the questionnaire, Jeff, is when you register for the $9, then it's going to go to another page and it's going to ask you a couple of uh, questions because we want to know who, to, you know, make sure you have the right brokerage account, make sure that you have the right, you're funded properly. If you, and by the way, and if you took class with somebody, oh man, that's even better. That's even better because if you took a class, let us know who it is. And I'll tell you if you made the right choice or the bad choice. And it, it kind of makes things so much easier. You're going to learn a lot quicker if, if you took education from someone else. Uh, I did and it and, and vividly disappeared. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll send, we'll send it to you back. Uh, uh, Jeff, you know what? When you talk to your education advisor, um, he'll just, just he'll ask you the same questions again. It just makes it a little bit quicker for us. Okay. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, John. S from Rome, New York. Was that upstate? Not too far from us. Beautiful. Harry uh, from Etiman, uh, Etiman, New uh, Al uh, Alberta. By the way, I went to that mall. I actually, you ever heard of a town, um, Henry, um, called Red Deer? So I had a student of mine that flew me up there to, to train him out of his house, and he lived in a small town called Red Deer. And uh, he, uh, from there, I went up to and saw the mall, the mall, the uh, Mall of America, pretty cool, gorgeous place. But uh, I never, I never saw uh, moose in a Target parking lot. <laughs> Things are huge. It's so funny. You're more than welcome. All right, uh, fellow traders, thanks for coming here. Thanks for listening in. And uh, you got the, you got the, the link up there on the screen. Feel free to click it. Once again, go out there, sample it, and then make sure when you are, when you do register. Make sure you book your appointment uh, because next week it's a big holiday here in the United States, Thanksgiving. So try to focus something on a Wednesday or a Thursday. We'd like you to see at least a couple of days. Listen, I think next week and this week is, is extremely volatile, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe not on Wednesday, but you never know. I mean, with everything that's going on, it's been a great market so far. So thank you very much for being here. Appreciate everybody. And I see, look forward to seeing you all in the trading room. Thanks, everybody.